Hello there. In this lecture, we'll see how to work uh, with the basic uh, data frame functions and ba basic data frame operations, such as select, where clause, or uh, uh, group by functions. How to apply these things on top of a data frame? Okay. Let's just create an object. Uh, data frame basic operations now let me just type in the main method and import the spark session I'll type in as basic that data frame operations this is my uh, this is my app name okay right now I have created a spark session and uh, let me just create a data frame uh, you, uh, with the customer uh, customer file whichever the thing we have uh, let's just open the location of the uh, sample data sets uh, set up sample and I have BSD okay in this uh, let me just let's just open and pack a file customer csv otherwise let me just open the orc file okay customer.org spark dot read and i can uh, give orc and i'll give the path uh, pwd and i'll copy this customer.org right now we have a data frame created right now that we have a data frame, what are the operations or the functions we can see on the data frame? Uh, we have seen a couple of things on the data frame uh, like uh, printing the schema. Print schema, right? Uh, it will print the schema or onto the console, right? There is another operation called uh, customer schema. There is another method called uh, schema which will uh, get which will uh, return the schema as a struct type, right? It will, uh, the print schema will print the schema on, on the console, but schema will return the struct data type, right? Uh, which is of, uh, which is of struct type and it returns the type of the schema. Let's just try to print a uh, customer schema and see how this looks like, okay? And now, I click on this and uh, run scale application and uh, you can see we got a struct type and uh, inside struct type we have struct field in each field uh, we have three different things one is customer uh, 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 column name and the uh, column type and whether it is nullable or not like this we have all the field uh, details right and uh, similarly we have another uh, function uh, suppose if we want to get only column names uh, in the data frame there's a function called columns okay print ln column names and it will uh, return column names as a list. Let's just see how it uh, returns the column names. You can see it's loading and uh, it is returning an array, right? For array, how to, how I, how did I know that it is an array? You can op uh, hover over uh, the column names uh, data type or column names variable and it will print out, the. it will show that it is of array type, right? Uh, so in, for that what I'll do I'll just make a, a string and I'll keep the separator as a comma right this is my separator and let's just uh, try to run this mm, let's see yeah now you can see uh, uh, I'm getting only column names of the uh, data frame right this is another function which is very useful when you are working with data frames and uh, what else I can show you and uh, let's see uh, 
I'll just use a customer description. I want to describe a customer table or customer uh, data frame. Uh, there is something called describe and uh, I can pass in uh, the column names, whatever I have here. Uh, suppose I want to uh, describe this particular column. I'll just use this column like this and let's see what it returns it returns a data frame and uh, a customer description dot show let's see what happens over here and when it runs and you can see it gives a description of the column, right? Uh, what are the what is the description you have? Uh, you'll, you'll you'll see the count of the customer identifier. You can see the mean, or you can you can see the standard deviation. Right now, it is not showing mean and standard deviation because the customer type whatever we have, it's a string type. So for string type, you don't have a mean and a distribution, uh, uh, mean and standard deviation. So it's not showing anything, right? And now uh, later it is uh, showing a minimum and maximum value of for that particular column, right? And uh, let's see if we have uh, uh, suppose uh, this created date and uh, updated date. These are uh, integer values, right? So uh, I'll try to uh, describe this created date. Let's see what uh, this particular uh, uh, function returns about this created date. It's an integer type, so it should show uh, mean, mean, standard deviation, count of the uh, column, and it, it should also show minimum and maximum value of that number, right? You can see this is how uh, you can use this uh, a describe function, right? Other than the describe function, what else I can show you? Uh, now we'll see uh, there is one more function called uh, call and types uh, this is my variable name uh, in my customer data frame there is something called d types right and d types will give uh, an array of uh, column name and column type uh, right and you can see it returns an array right when it is an array how we have to do it uh, we have to make a string to make it readable, right? So uh, I will column names and column types, right? And uh, what I'll do, um, yeah, I'll iterate through and uh, I'll iterate through the array and I'll print out each uh, uh, item, right? That is another way, column. Uh, name and types column and types dot for each uh, I'll just print ln right I'm trying to print out each element of the column uh, column name and array let's see what it prints out and how it prints out now you can see column name and types it print as customer identifier as a string type and customer type as a string type tax identifier as an integer created date as an integer updated date as integer something like that right these are the few basic functions which we can uh, work on uh, which are very useful when you are working with our data frames there are lots of other functions as well uh, which we have seen um, for example uh, I have this customer df and I want to see the first uh, 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 10 lines or something right uh, so I have I can use head right head will show uh, the first uh, 10 lines or something otherwise if you want to see the first five lines also uh, then uh, it will take the first uh, five lines there is a difference between head and uh, show uh, head won't uh, print the lines it will just take the first five lines or the first 10 lines Whereas uh, show right uh, when I try to give uh, customer dot df dot show, it will show the uh, top twenty lines or top uh, whatever lines we give in here, right? But 
head won't uh, show the lines but instead it will just take the first lines so then to print out the each line of it what I, what we have to do we can use for each and we can uh, give println and then uh, it will print out the lines this is another function you can see mm. you can see there are lots of other functions which we have printed out so uh, it's taking time see you can see it is uh, returning a, a, a list of elements and on, it is printing only five elements because we are taking five elements and uh, head of five elements and we are printing each element right uh, these are the basic functions which we can uh, work on a data frame that's it for this lecture guys and uh, in the next lecture we'll see a few other uh, uh, data frame functions which we can uh, work on okay guys bye see you in the next lecture